The Bookie. HBO Max has a new show. They dropped their first two episodes. It's a comedy starring Sebastian Maniscalco as a bookie. He's got a little muscle with him. And is it a good comedy? Is it fun? Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. All right. The Bookie uh, dropped two episodes. I didn't know this was a thing. It just happened to show up and in, my, in my feed. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. Let's uh, check this out. Where is it playing? It's playing over on Max. All right, let's talk about it. Check it out. I'm actually a fan of Sebastian Maniscalco. I really enjoyed his stand-up. Um, he had an interesting role as uh, Joe Gallo in Irishman. He's done a few other things. Like he was in the movie Tag. I, I talked about that at one point. Obviously, he was the voice actor behind Spike and the Super Mario Brothers. So, all right, he's going to have a lead role in this little show. Is it worth it? Is it is it something that we should all be checking out? That kind of thing. Uh, Omar Dempsey, uh, right? I think it's Dempsey. Is it right? I, oh, Dorsey. Oh, Omar Dorsey. He plays the muscle, right? He plays his little friend uh, Ray, and uh, he had a little he had a little bit part in Blindside. Um, I remember that because he was um, Big Tony, and I know that he was the uh, the cop in um, the new Halloween movies, the sheriff. Uh, but I really haven't seen him in a whole lot of stuff that I was familiar with. At least I don't think I have. Um, but he was really really good. So the two of them together and the chemistry that they have is sort of the heart and soul of the show, as he's a bookie. He's taking bets. He's navigating sort of like, it's not that he has, an, he has a challenging role with his wife, his sister running the business with him. Um, she is uh, played by, um, excuse me, um, Vanessa Folito, who we saw, or I just talked about in Death Proof. So if you saw the Death Proof video, she is, uh, you know, the pretty girl with the dance in the second half of that scene, the second half of that, uh, no, in the first half of that movie, right? The first half of that movie. Uh, with um, with my Kurt Russell's character. So um, there's another little son. There's, you know, those kinds of things. And then we get to see Jorge Garcia, who you know from Lost. He is back as Hector. He's like an Uber driver. Well, not, it's an Uber driver or something else. And, it, you know, he's, a, he's like a pot guy. And he's into soccer. And these are the kind of gags that are played. So uh, let me run through the trailer a little bit to give you some ideas, some of the images that go with what I'm talking about. So here you have them, and one of the big gags early on, and it is kind of fun, is um, Sebastian's character listens to like the really cheesiest of cheesy old music, like I'm talking about like '70s and '80s type stuff with Ray and Ray, and there, there, it is played really well as sort of like an ongoing joke that really is never too in your face. I actually like the fact that we can have like passive humor. It doesn't always have to be gags, right? Uh, so that was um, something that I actually liked a lot in their interactions and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, just big city, doing it, doing, um, doing, doing the gig, working the angles, man. He's, he's an Italian dude. He's running a book, uh, collecting money, taking bets. Um, this is all cut out of order with them having a drink and talking about some of their problems, that kind of because nothing goes right. Everything you can imagine doesn't go right uh, with them trying to collect money. Um, the scenarios they get into are actually kind of fun. I think it it is a nice contrived show. Like it's a fun experience to go on the journey with them, have a few laughs, don't, think, don't take things too serious because everything is going to be absurd. Like the idea that so many problems would be like stacked on top of one another, like uh, he took a car instead of the payment, what happens with the car? Uh, they go to see this guy who may have actually been behind um, a setup or a, I don't want to get to the spoiler. because I want you to kind of have that first, this is a brand new show. Like I think it dropped today. Well, yesterday, you're seeing this on Friday. So it dropped on Thursday, so it's a brand new show. Get your first experience, tell me what you think because uh, it, 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 it's, it's constantly throwing different angles at these two characters and how they react. You, I think by the end of the two episodes, I really enjoy the two of them and their chemistry and the stuff that's happening around them. Because you feel like, and, there, and it is sort of like the joke. It's like, oh, we finally have a good day. Something bad happens. You know, so it's like it's a constant roller coaster where they're trying to grab a hold of sanity and stability and all those kinds of things. Uh, Ray has a, a great little backstory of being like an F NFL player. He'd gotten hurt. He can't play anymore. Grandma was just like his, his, his love of his life, right? Took care of his grandma, but he's lost his money. He's lost his uh, NFL money. So um, she has to live, you, you know, remotely or far away from where she wants to live in that ritzy neighborhood. Uh, he's playing alimony to a whole bunch of women. So he would basically got in the NFL, got a whole bunch of girls pregnant, 
and then you know that's kind of so and i don't always care for um uh vanessa for for Lido, but she does a really good job of being a believable sister to danny sebastian's character um i really liked jorge uh garcia as this driver and he's like he comes up with this little shtick on like making money off soccer and things like that so this is all done very well it's a kind of a nice fun pleasant experience um, it is not pg or anything like that it's it's, it's racy it's got its issues um, but i don't have any major problems with this show so far um don't want to get into too many spoilers oh it's just the charlie scene okay so one of the people that owe him money is actually charlie sheen and they couldn't find charlie sheen and he's actually in a rehab place running his own game so he's um here trying to get out of the debt by talking about all these absurd things which it is so i think i would love to know someone who doesn't know anything about charlie sheen's take if this works for someone who doesn't know much about charlie sheen if this works or not i think it works mostly because i know about charlie sheen so i'm getting all of the references of you know, sports memorabilia autographs or things like that, because I get Charlie Sheen. I don't know how it works if it does. I'd love to know somebody who doesn't know much about Charlie Sheen and how they would feel about those jokes. But I like the fact that it's there and he's running a book. Um, that's kind of, or he's running a game, he's not running a book. All right, so that's, that's that goes pretty well. They throw it in here. Um, yeah, I don't want to spoil that gag. Um, there's all sorts of moments. This is them with Jorge driving. It, it, and again, here's the thing too, I think that the show does very well is it's not gonna waste a lot of time um, just sitting around talking without having the comedic adventure. Like everything's about adventuring, moving, moving on to the next the next uh, bet, getting some more money, uh, dealing with whatever crisis they just came out of, whether it be a, like a shooting or an accident, those kinds of things, um, who he owes money to, getting the money, um, there's a kind of a great joke about what happened. So someone actually pays him in money, but what actually, what they did to the money <laughs> is played for gags. And it does keep going, even with the little kid scene, uh, which which actually I also like the fact that nothing felt faked. Like the kid has a comment about being into um, manga and anime and the, re the response is perfect. Like, I don't get it. Like what? <laughs> so... Um, so you get a general feel of everything of how it all kind of plays out. I think it was done pretty well. I actually enjoyed the first two episodes a lot in the sense that this is stuff that was not in those episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. Um, so I don't know if it's something that you have on your radar screen or not, or you want to give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. I, I, I look, I'm all about trying to find something that can, I, I, it was, it was relatively short and comedic. And I had a decent time. I don't know. Is it like a solid seven at this point, I think, for me? Like it's a solid seven. And uh, yeah, I'm in for more. So that's my take. I am Pops. Thanks for watching, everybody.